hey guys uh, welcome to support mini you are watching uh, this hello world tutor tutorial uh, how you are going to create a sample project in android studio hope you have gone through my previous uh, video uh, where i have already explained you how to set up android studio and uh, what are all the basic requirements of the same so let's quickly start with uh, developing a basic application so i have here uh, i have hello world application already created so this is what the default project structure which after once you uh, create any android project in android studio so this is very useful folder for us app folder where we are having source uh, folder inside it and inside a main folder you will find uh, all the classes of uh, java or uh, inside this java folder and uh, resources uh, which are which we are going to use for the application in resource folder and then the manifest then the build out cradle in java um, in java folder basically here is nothing but your activities you need to mention also it um, this package also contains some um, other classes which uh, common classes or a database classes you need to mention inside this uh, package then whatever so uh, in this uh, case uh, this is what a main activity so activity is nothing but uh, your ui you are going to uh, check on your mobile so related to this activity we uh, will be having a layout for the same so this is what the layout uh, which is already uh, already available so and a menu so uh, i'll first uh, show you how this uh, uh, this default structure uh, will look like so i have already run this program here it will look like this so my pro project name one text uh, view uh, this project already contains then the fab button okay then this is what the menu so this menu is nothing but you will find inside this folder settings so this is settings and uh, these folders contains a launcher icon so launcher icon is nothing but so this is nothing but launcher icon i'll just open the same project you need to uh, dump respected launcher icons into specified folders over here then the values folder contains a color as well as dimensions strings which you are going to uh, use at the time of uh, showing any any messages any, uh, application title name then the style then uh, the android manifest here this is the heart of application where you need to mention permission some permission related to your application or to here already uh, some permissions are there read contact read profile get accounts as well as this application inside this application tag you need to mention whatever activities uh, which means whatever ui stuff you are going to uh, uh, see on this mobile application so those activities comes under this application tag so in my case uh, over here default as per default project structure this main activity is my launcher activity uh, so other activities and the broadcast receiver or service you are going to mention inside this application tag inside this manifest file talking about uh, build.gradle here you need to mention uh, specific uh, compile sdk version then the, the application id minimum sdk version target sdk version version code version name then uh, progard file stuff so so uh, this application id uh, you are going to well, when you are going to upload uh, your project on play store so those that package name uh, you are going to highlight over there as nothing uh, will be nothing but this this package name so talking about uh, dependencies in this uh, um, section uh, whatever third party libraries you are going to use for the app android application so those you just uh, have to just mention compile uh, one one line basically like uh, like this 
so it will refer to that particular library and you will uh, uh, you can achieve whatever the functionalities uh, those are present in that particular library into your project so let's quickly st start with a small demo i'll just close all the files and i'll create a new class so activity my empty activity okay login activity oops okay, my activity layout name is activity underscore login okay and i'll click on finish so as you can see a default structure of this is oh, android studio has created this is what my class and this is what my activity login xml okay so these are some widgets uh, you are going to see over here you can just drag and drag and drop over the screen so as to create your uh, required ui so there are many many controls present over here you can i'll show you uh, quickly i'll just drag this text to you uh, over here and i'll give this text to name as sign in okay and if i want to uh, increase the font size of the same so i'll go to more properties of the same and uh, either i can give the text size from here or else you can go to text section and uh, give text size as let's suppose 25 sp fine now i want to take edit text i'll i'll uh, give you uh, I, uh, here i'm going to create a sign in page so i'm uh, taking two text boxes as my for my username and for my password match parent then the wrap content you need to specify id username okay i'm done so uh, this is for password i'm creating then i'm going to create one button match parent wrap content then the text of the same as login and id oops yeah so as you can see uh, all the controls overlaps each another so this this is because of relative layout so i'll uh, create one container uh, for the container i'll take a linear layout which is my match parent and this is app content and its orientation will be vertical and the other controls which are uh, which will go inside this container so now you can see my two text boxes this title and button is there inside this container okay so here i'll give hint as a username and uh, hint as password okay give some margin top as 10 db or here margin top as 10 db and uh, margin top as 50 db okay i'll give the background as mmm000 so this is what my background uh, yeah if i don't want this color then you can just you just need to double click on this section and you can choose your favorite color okay so here i'll choose this color and uh, for button i'll give background as background as 
is uh, orange okay orange color I want this entire layout uh, should be in center so center in parent as true also gravity of this container is center aligned I don't want a margin top for this signing button so I'll just remove this thing so as you can see it is properly uh, aligned now and my sign-in button I'll give a text color as text color as Android and black so here we are having already defined uh, already uh, defined colors present in Android library itself so I'm going to use this black color from there there itself yeah so I'm done so so my UI part is done now let's talk about code behind part where I'm going to enter some username password and based on my login button click uh, whatever I am going to uh, show on UI so let's go back to login activity here I'll create method as initialize controls and I'll use these IDs I'll refer these IDs wait my edit text okay text oops and uh, for password I'm going to initialize over here then I'll consider button button login here is my button login so to give click listener of the same I should write set on click listener and click on this so I'll just uh, copy this function paste it over here so that uh, after once my activity will get load it will initialize the controls then uh, so I'm getting this error to fix this I need to implement on click listener class and implement methods of the same over here when I'll click on login button so uh, Android will so when I'll click on login button so it will come uh, inside this on click uh, function login yes so now I'll I'm having as I'm having two uh, edit text username so I'll fetch uh, values to string frame here I write uh, string username same for password now my validation if a uh, username is blank then what should happen and then my application should show a toast message as a please enter username else if password field is blank then I should get a message as please enter password otherwise a final condition should execute should show me welcome username 
yep so i'm done with code behind so as i have already mentioned you that whenever you are going to create any activity you just need to specify though that activity in manifest so let me cross check whether my login activity is present on in uh, android manifest or not so yes it's already present but uh, i want this uh, login activity should be my launcher activity so i'll just uh, instead of main activity i'll just copy my this activity over here and just comment this activity so yeah so i'll just run this program let's see so yes this is what uh, text view then username password fields and my login button okay so if i'll uh, directly click on login button so uh, as you can see please enter username it is showing me so i'll just enter nikhil as my username then I'll again click on login so it's showing me please enter password so i'll type one two three and i'll click on login yep it's showing me welcome nikhil so that's all guys so uh, watch my all other videos for a clear understanding of android and android studio thank you so much